Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion Builds. Today I want to talk about a little Lich build that I made. It was really kind of difficult to make a Lich build because, well, it's... The Lich is not exactly a very... I mean, it's a unique enemy, but it's not at the same time. So, the, for the Lich, um, we're going to just start off, you're going to make a Breton. Just... I, I did some research because I didn't know if the liches actually had a resistance or weakness to magic. And they have a resistance to magic. So you're going to go with a Breton, uh, also for the extra magic. You can use intelligence and willpower for your attributes. The apprentice sign as your sign, we'll get to the resistance in a little bit for that. And of course magic as your specialization. For your seven still skills, you're going to use literally all the magic skills. Except for Restoration. You're going to take Restoration and swap it with Light Armor for your character. And if you want an extra bonus, you're going to use a Staff with your character. So, with this Resist Magic thing going on here, use something, preferably your gear, to do extra Resist Magic. Because the Liches, they don't really heal themselves, you know, and they're undead. So I think it's kind of like, as an undead, you know, yeah, it's kind of like the ultimate restoration thing, but at the same time, you're just denying decay. So that's why restoration swapped with light armor. And liches are very tanky. So, but they're not like, liches are tanky, but they're not the tankiest thing in the world. I mean, uh, on my Oblivion Cat character, goblins are more tanky than liches. So, you know, but they're a little bit tanky. So how you would play this lich is first of all you'd use a staff right and the staff could be as powerful as you want because the lich staffs are generally very powerful and you would conjure up some kind of undead creature before every fight you'd make sure you got an undead creature that's priority number one you got an undead creature rocking around then you would use alteration to give yourself some extra protection and then use a combination of destruction spells and basically illusion to help you win your fights whether it's make them run away paralyze them silence whatever it is you know because i know liches don't use so many spells but since you had a character you know you can't really be as quote specialized as a lich um really it's a very simple build that weakness to magic is gonna suck in the beginning of the game i'm just gonna say that right now it's gonna suck in the beginning of the game not fun to deal with but once you get past that you're gonna have basically a you're basically gonna have a powerful mage like a breton pure mage build but it's gonna have light armor instead of restoration so your chances of actually having a buffed speed is gonna be up your speeds gonna be a little bit higher and your willpower is gonna be a little bit lower but I mean you're probably gonna max out willpower anyways so there's no real point in that so if you do want to make sure that you grind out willpower you can with this character if you want that fast magic regen but it's a very very simple build not much to the lich build i don't really like you could make yourself a vampire i would say if you wanted to go that route as well um vampire is usually helpful with hand-to-hand -hand builds so if you want that physical melee attack you know or just the physical damage in general you don't necessarily melee um, you can become a vampire and grind up your hand-to-hand -hand just in case all of your stabs run out. A mysticism is there so that you can also, by the way, use Soul Trap. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, stabs tend to run out of charge extremely freaking fast in Oblivion. Like, they just do. It's, it's crazy. So, when you're playing this, also save all your scrolls, save all your potions. You're going to be making a lot of potions with this build. Also to help grind intelligence. Self, save Welkin Stones, like what I do is early on, before you have a lot of magic, very big magic pool, and you're not getting strong sorcery potions, go through Alien Ruins. Raid the raid the Alien Ruins for those stones, man, because you're going to need them. That's, that's your ticket out of that kind of mid to mid early game lack of magic is those Welkin Stones. But yeah, that's really it for this build, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can tell me in the comments below. Have you tried this build? Do you like playing this build? Let me know in the comments. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.